Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at quite a long video here featuring Mawile in the Go Battle League yet again. Yes, I am doing quite a bit of Go Battle League videos because, well, we're going to want to do these in the future, seeing that we're going to be getting that Elite TM and we're going to actually be going into the official season here, as well as people still getting into PvP and testing this Mawile out even more and just seeing the performance in every angle here. All right, so going into the first battle, we are met with a Melmetal. And what I like to do in this situation is, with this specific moveset, is continuously just go for Hydro Pump and do not shield anything. And then after that, depending upon how I feel about it, I will possibly go in there with the Mawile. But if they do not shield it up like this, well, it can be good. And I found myself kind of uh, questioning what I should be doing here. So I ran into an Azumarill after the Melmetal did go down. And in the back, I do have Mawile with Fire Fang. Uh, power Punch and then Play Rough and then the Altaria of course well it'll eventually do a good amount of damage but we are going to be taking super effective from that Ice Beam so I was like what am I going to do? Uh, we took down the Melmetal that was nice we got a Hydro Pump through but now uh, we're going to have to work around this specific situation so I'm definitely going to have to shield these up. I decided to just go with the Altaria just in case there was like a Registeel in the back or something like that I wanted to preserve them all while for later uh, but what I'm going to do here is uh, make a switch. I should be doing this. And uh, <laughs> don't mind my horrible uh, flying animation swipe, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, so we did catch that Ice Beam with the Mawile here. Uh, it's not looking great. So possibly should have built up to a play rough, seeing that there is no more shields left. And even though I'm raising my attack, it's not going to be enough to take out the... A zoom roll there so it did look like i would have been able to make it to play rough uh, so we're just going to go back in here with the alteria with sky attack and see what they have in the back and it is a mawile let's go it is not shadow but it does have fire fang uh, so i know this situation and it's uh, not looking great so i thought they might have been going for a play rough at this point but they actually went for power -up punch so very interesting so now their attack is raising and i thought okay it looks like i might be able to pull this off here uh, finish it off with Dragon Breaths, but then another one, I was like, is it going to be a Power Punch? It was an Iron Head, so they are able to take me out with Mawwell. Very nice, and I'm starting to see a lot more of you using it. Uh, tell me how you feel about it. It works great. I mean, things amazing. So, starting it off with Mawwell, meant with a Venusaur. They're switching into their Altaria. Uh, my only real answer up against another Azumarill is pre pretty much my Azumarill. I have been contemplating wanting to take off Play Rough on my Mawile Shadow Form and switching it with Iron Head because both the Azumarill having it and then the Mawile too is a little bit of an overkill. I don't think I really need that. Yes, it is a very powerful move on the Shadow Pokemon, but if I use Power Up Punch and then Iron Head, I should be looking pretty good, right? So I think I might be testing that out soon. So they do make a switch back into their Venusaur and we're going to be going back in with our Mawile here and we're just going to go for that Power Up Punch to raise our attack so the Fire Fang could just do a lot more damage. Absolutely devastating damage with that Fire Fang. Uh, we will be shielding that up regardless of what it is because Sludge Wave or Sludge Bomb is going to uh, be neutral damage because we're part fairy and then the Frenzy Plant is not very effective but it's still going to hurt Mawile. Uh, in comes their Azumarill here. As you can see, my Mawile is just tearing into them. I do decide to shield this up, seeing that I've built up so much attack. We're just going to keep the momentum going here with it. Uh, and we're able to take that out. And then they have a Registeel in the back. This is perfect since we've raised our attack. Now, at this point, we, we ran into a ton of lag. Uh, that was really unfortunate. I think I would have been able to do a little bit more damage with the Fire Fang. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So... Uh, what we do here is we go in with our Azumarill, just gain a little bit of energy, and then switch into the Altaria to absorb this Flash Cannon. And we're just going to do as much damage as we possibly can with the Altaria uh, before we switch back into the Azumarill and get off a possible play rough. Uh, and at this point, obviously, it's you know going to take it out because it's so low. I didn't know if he had energy, so I just went for it. I didn't even need to hit those because, well, it's so low. And then we take the win there. Very good. Moving on to the next, Miller time. I've seen this guy quite a few uh, times around, so shout out to you if you watch me, man. Uh, so he is starting it off with a very nice Dugong here. Very good. Uh, so I'm assuming it is going to have that Legacy Icy Wind on it. And we're going to let it go ahead and go through. Not very effective, but, you know, Shadow Mawile, not the tankiest thing around. They switch into 
a sable eye so we're going to go ahead and go in with our zoom roll here because we will be able to resist the dark move and then do super effective with the play rough uh, but he does hit me with a power gem which is going to be normal and it is it, it is doing a good amount of damage chipping away as well as that shadow claw there uh, sable eye is no pushover pokemon for sure being completely maxed out uh, depending on your ivs but it's reaching that high level point so i'm gonna go ahead and go for another one of these uh yeah okay because we're so low we're we were about to get fainted out with the uh shadow claw so might as well go for the charge take it out they're bringing in the dugong we're gonna go back in here with the mawile and we're gonna go ahead and shield this up because uh, that is going to KO us. They do make a switch into Altaria, and I just immediately go for Power Punch. Uh, so kind of wasted energy there. So we're so I go ahead and bring in my Altaria here to Mirror Match. And it's going to be pretty close here. I wanted to farm just a little bit so I can possibly get to the Sky Attack sooner. Missing Bubbles, but they shield it up, so it doesn't really matter. Almost able to get to another Sky Attack. Unfortunately, no more shields, so they're going to be taking us out. At least they use their energy there. Uh, in comes the Mawile. Of course there's lag at the most crucial moment of the battle. I was like, I better not lose this because of the lag. So they are bringing back in their Dugong here. We're going to go ahead and go for Power Punch, seeing that the Fire Fang is going to be neutral damage to that Dugong. And we're able to take the win so close with the Sliver left. And on to our next opponent here. And we're met with a Fantastic League anticipating a switch. They do go into their... Uh, zoom roll here. I don't know if this was the wisest move, and this is another reason why I want to put Iron Head on it. Uh, yes, the zoom roll is going to be parts uh, fairy type and then also water, so it is going to be neutralized, but at least I'll be able to get to it a lot sooner. That hydro pump just went right through my Mawile, so we're not looking great at this point. Uh, my best option here is to just uh, Go back in with my Azumarill and just try to salvage this with a little bit of energy after taking out this Azumarill here. Um, they do have Hydro Pump, so that is a good sign that I will be able to stay ahead as far as uh, damage goes. Uh, they're bringing us pretty low here. I wanted to gain a little bit more energy for what they did have in the back for that loss of the Mawile. Unfortunately, we're going to have to try to make up for that. We do have two shields, but <laughs> we only have an Altaria in the back with two shields. What are we going to do? So in comes their Altaria, which is good. And they're going to be shielding it up. Now they're down to no shield. And bringing in that Swampert. And then we're going to be having the Altaria to answer that. We're looking great here. We're going to let this go through. It is a sludge wave, unfortunately. Uh, so it's not looking great. Uh, it's not looking horrible. I mean, we still have two shields. I think I was being a little stingy on the energy here. I should have took it out a little bit sooner with no shields on their end. Uh, so... I think what my mistake was for this battle was not recognizing how much health that other Altaria did have. I thought it was a little bit lower and I was a little bit too comfortable there. Uh, bringing in the Azumarill to absorb any sort of charge move. Uh, but unfortunately, I was being stingy with the shields and hoarding too much energy. And they take me out with quick moves, folks. So if I do sound a little bit monotone, I guess, uh, I just want to have a more relaxed tone for this whole video because it is going to be quite long um, and not just, you know, super crazy and hyper throughout the whole video for you guys uh, while you're watching this. Anyways, they did have the Bastodon lead. They switched into Swampert and we're going to go ahead and go in with our Altaria here. And we're, we're going to take this. We don't need to shield this up. What we're going to do is just farm it down. Have plenty of energy for whatever they do bring in. Which is more than likely going to be that Bastidon. So Altaria is pretty much as good as dead. I guess uh, at least we're going to be able to do some damage here with the Dragon Pulse. And then a little bit more of the Dragon Breaths. But unfortunately they're going to be able to farm us down. And now they have energy. Uh, so I could go in here with the Azumarill. But I do decide to go in with the Mawile. What I want to do here is actually do a bit of damage with the Mawile and then try to catch a Flamethrower with my Azumarill. But you're going to see I did it correct, but then I messed up. So uh, I switch in here. I don't know if I was catching a Flamethrower, but it was. So I wasted a shield there. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, so they're going to be bringing in their Altaria here. We're going to go for that play rough, of course. They're going to be using that last shield. We're looking great here. We're going to be able to get to another play rough, but... Uh, it's going to be pretty close. Mawile is going to have to take the win here. Uh, this is no Ice Beam, so it's not going to one-shot it. It's going to take it low, but still going to have a good enough health to be a threat here. Uh, they're getting off another charge, which they had to do that. Otherwise, I would have been able to get to a play rough. Uh, so they don't have that much energy here. 
So we're just going to go ahead and go for the power up punch to kind of vamp up the fire fang. And they're going to be getting off a charge. My wild can tank this and bring it into the Bastodon and then Mawile taking the win yet again. Let's go. I am so much enjoying this thing. So worth the investment. But as we've seen in the comparison side by side, if you did not see that last video, check it out. We did compare the regular Mawile to the Shadow one to see which one is going to be performing better. Uh, basically, the Shadow ones just did a lot more damage faster. Uh, but the regular form was able to do exactly what it did, but just a little bit slower and with ever so slightly more health. Like we're talking one or two HP more, or maybe three, something along those lines. Anyways, looking at this battle here, we have the Azumarill versus Azumarill. You know, the most intense and uh, exciting battle that you can ever visually see here. So, uh, thinking that they're going to do play rough, but they hit me with an Ice Beam. I shielded up. So at this point, I'm like, well, I'm going to have to switch and gain some energy. They're going to get to an Ice Beam, so I'm going to unfortunately have to use another shield. That was not a good play on my behalf. And now they're just switching into the Registeel. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is one of those things. Well, uh, the Dragon Breath is still doing good damage. I mean, and then the Flash Cannon, we're able to tank that. And the Sky Attack, you know, breaking it down ever so slightly, right? Registeel is not the all... Mighty Invincible Titan, but slightly, <laughs> in some cases, uh, but uh, alright, so we go down, going to bring in the Mawile, of course, to finish it off, getting a little bit of energy here, uh, we have no shields, they have two, so what's going to happen, uh, they have a Skarmory, this is great, this is good, uh, so we're going to go for that Power Punch, and I was like, where's the Sky Attack, what's he trying to farm here, you're almost done, so he does shield up, but he has other plans for me. What he does is flash cannon, then one shots me. Will played Sir. We're able to finish it off with quick moves. In comes their zoom roll, and we have enough energy to get off a of play rough. And they shield it up. But what happens, folks? Whoa! We're able to get to another play rough and take the win. All right. So we actually get matched up with them again. So at this point, I know. All I have to do is get rid of that Azumarill, and then the Mawile is going to be able to go to town on that Registeel and that Skarmory, right? Both being the Steel types. Uh, so we're able to know that we're not going to have to shield anything from this Azumarill, since we know exactly what is going to be on the team here and how we could win this. Uh, basically, the Mawile is going to take the win for us here. So whenever we do bring that in, we're going to shield up whatever he throws at us uh, and just keep vamping up that Fire Fang after the Azumarill does go down here, of course. Uh, so what happened last time was that he used Ice Beam right here, right? So I shielded it up. I didn't do it this time. I was like, nope, not going to fall for it. Uh, what I thought what happened was uh, they actually got to play rough. Somehow they gain a little bit more energy, maybe some lag. So that's why I shielded it the first time around. Anyways, bringing in the Mawile here. And now let's have some fun with this one. I think they knew exactly what was going to happen and how this played out here. So, yeah, I mean, two shields. Once I start vamping up that Fire Fang, it is game over. That Skarmory is going to drop like a bunch of rocks or a bunch of steel. Uh, but he does quit out because he realizes that he, he can't win that one. He's seen my team before. On to the next opponent. Uh, this is very interesting here. So, uh, Bubble Beam is going to be lowering my attack. Uh, so even if I had Ice Beam, I'd still be in a pretty good situation because it is part flying the Mantine. Uh, but in this case, we don't have Ice Beam anymore. We currently have Play Rough, so we're still looking okay. Uh, basically, just keep going for that and don't shield up anything. Uh, he's either going to hit me with a Bubble Beam or an Ice Beam. Uh, maybe do Bubble Beam a couple times, lower the attack so he's comfortable, and then start hitting me with the Ice Beams is probably what you want to do in that situation here. Uh, lowering my attack yet again. I was anticipating possibly a switch, uh, but I think he felt comfortable enough that he was going to be able to win this here. Uh, so at this point, an Ice Beam is going to be able to KO me, and that's how he takes uh, us out. Uh, the good thing is that we do have two shields left, so I do decide to go in here with the Mawile and just kind of finish it off, um, and then kind of switch after they bring in their next Pokemon here that's going to try to counter me. Uh, which is going to be Lantern. So we go ahead and switch into our Altaria. 
uh, expecting, of course, a Thunderbolt. A Thunderbolt or a Hydro Pump is what they have on your uh, Lanterns or what you should have. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and go for their Sky Attack. Now, the IVs on my Altaria are not great uh, because it is a shiny one and I just wanted to use it because it's fun to flex the shiny Altaria. Uh, but I do have another one here. So we did have the CMP tie or he won it. And so I just uh, let it go through because I just wanted to gain energy and it was so low. So we're going to be switching immediately into our Mawile and yeah, that's a lot of damage and that's why I like play rough. If I didn't have that and I had Iron Head, I would have lost that situation there. So that is one case why I like play rough. Uh, as you can see, Mawile uh, in the rear taking the win for me is quite amazing. So we have another Azumarill Mirror match. Uh, before I did not like these whatsoever, but now I do not mind them at all. As long as I can get the uh, uh, charge priority and get off my play rough first, then we're going to be looking good here. Uh, because having an Ice Beam and a Hydro Pump going up against another Azumarill who has a play rough and Hydro Pump is uh, not fun, right? Because you're basically going to lose or have to switch or something like that. So uh, getting pretty low here. And they have a little bit more energy. I think they go for yeah, no, another play rough. They were able to piggyback somewhere uh, and uh, gain more energy. So we're going to go in with the Altaria and gain energy. But they're making the switch immediately, recognizing that situation there. Uh, so I can't take advantage of that. But then I'm going to be switching into my Mawile here after getting off a, a Sky Attack. And... We're going to go ahead and go for the Power Punch just to do a little bit more damage so we can just get rid of it. And we're not able to take it out. So I do shield this up. So basically I just want to preserve the Mawile because its attack has been Rosen. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what they do. Have two shields left. The Azumarill comes in and faints out immediately. With such low health. It's a Haunter. Let's go. So we're going to go for that Power Punch so we can do even more damage with the Fire Fang. Look at the Haunter melting away. And it's basically over. And then we come across some mysterious lag at the most crucial moment yet again. Um, but uh, thank goodness I have a shield here. They go for a Shadow Punch and probably are really close to getting off a, a Shadow Ball. So we're able to win that there. Into the next battle with our next opponent here. Starting it off with the Azumarill. And they are starting off with Manting. Alright, so we have this situation again. So last time the other person won because they did play a right between the Bubble Beams and the Ice Beams. Let's see how this situation works out this time around here. Uh, so of course we're just going to keep going for play rough and use no shields at all. It does not matter if they faint us out. We're not going to use any shields. Uh, we want to preserve those for the other Pokemon. Uh, because it is going to be very close. It's not like the, the Mantic is going to completely wipe us out without it just holding on by a sliver of health anyways. Uh, so at this point, it looks pretty good. All right, so they finally go for an Ice Beam, chipping away pretty good. Uh, and since they keep lowering my attack, of course, you know, my play rough is not going to be doing as much damage. So they're going to be able to survive. So at this point, <laughs> not even really doing too much. Uh, so let's see if they're able to take us out here. And that's going to be another Bubble Beam. If they went for Ice Beam, I would have been close. I, I think they might have, would have probably been able to take me out there uh, they do bring in the tropius which takes me out immediately very ha happy about that i did not want to get farmed on so it does have razor leaf uh, and i do make a switch into mawa here horrible horrible mistake because right i had alteria they switch into the Whiskash. i could have kept on with that and i would have been perfectly fine and saved them all while for the tropius right so that was a horrible play on my end, unfortunately. Uh, just switching on on command when other people switch is not something you necessarily need to do all the time. Uh, some of those quick switches that they do make are still going to be uh, okay for you to continue on with the Pokemon that you do have out there, uh, specifically in that case that you just seen here. So let's see if I'm actually able to win this or if it's a lost cause. Missing some bubbles like a scrub. Here we go. Not good. So we're able to take that out. Looking great. And we still have a shield. Now, all right. Maybe I have been a little bit dramatic, but nonetheless, it's still... I should have stayed in there with the Altaria, uh, but we're still able to take the win here. Uh, but a little close for comfort. Uh, could have played it a little bit smarter and uh, safer. So we're met by a Shadow Polyrath, guys. Let's go. Shout out to this guy. All right. I like it. So... 
let's see what we can do. So they're hitting us with a power punch. I'm thinking power punch and ice punch uh, at this point on it. So it can, you know, take out Altaria's. Uh, so they let the play rough go through. Maybe they thought I was going to hit it with an ice beam uh, as a bait. But yeah, the play rough is almost taking it out. They have a Steelix uh, behind that. Very interesting team that they have going on here. Uh, but the Azumarill is going to be able to uh, run over it with Hydro Pump. They let it go through. They still have two shields. What's going on here? Let's see uh, what happens. All right, so we're going to go for that play rough, assuming a shield's coming out at this point. Okay, um, but it's not looking not looking too hot for them with the uh, Azumarill start off uh, met by that Shadow uh, Polyrath. Although that's an amazing Pokemon, really interesting there. Um, I'd like to see how that would perform in a in another video, or maybe I can go up against somebody who has one, or maybe make one myself. Uh, so we're going to be shielding this up and actually able to uh, get off another play rough here. And I think at this point. I just go in with my Altaria and just finish it off with a couple Dragon Breaths or a Dragon Breath there. All right, folks, this video is pretty long. I know a lot of battles, but I just want to bring you all of this so you can study up and have a you know good understanding if you're not really familiar with PvP. Uh, and so you can do a little bit better once Season 1 does roll around here. Uh, so a Melmetal, okay, we're not going to shield anything. This is my um, kind of motto going up against these here. I just go for Hydro Pump, and then if the, they shield that up and they take me out, I'll go in with my Mawile or something, or maybe possibly even my Altaria to farm down uh, with whatever remaining health it does have. So they're bringing in their Azumarill here, and this is another situation like we've seen in the beginning that is very tricky for me to play my way out of, and that is going up against a Melmetal. All right, if they don't shield up Hydro Pump, great, it goes down, but then they bring in their uh, Azumarill, and then my Azumarill, which is basically my a zoom real counter <laughs> is uh, already low so we have Altaria and Mawile on the back and now how how we're going to play this here so we're going to go ahead and go in with the Mawile uh, we still have one shield so uh, deciding to use it right now and that's good because we didn't want that same situation that we seen earlier pretty much just you know well it was a one shot uh, from the Hydro Pump to the Mawile uh, so we're going Fire Fang we're going to go for another one here in hopes that we can take this thing out they decide to shield it up ah that's not good uh, but that's okay at least we have the uh alteria that's able to farm a little bit here and they were not able to get off an ice beam so they do bring in their umbreon but i immediately recognize the situation and uh sorry to spoil it but the, this is pretty much a loss for me here and uh i will keep fighting on though i won't back out but the uh, Umbreon is just too tanky at this point. Uh, even with me having energy. I know I missed a couple bubbles there, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. So they're getting off a of foul play. And even if I would have hit an excellent, as you can see here, there's, you know, they just had too much energy and they're able to take me out uh, with the foul play. Going into the next battle here, we are met with a Bastodon, which is a best buddy, as you can see the badge on it. Uh, so this is another one where I'm not going to be shielding up anything. We're just going to go ahead and go for a hydro pump here. And then we can just bring in Mawile if, you know, plans go downhill. But they let it go through, which is great. But yet again, this is another one of those situations. If they have an Azumarill behind this, well, I'm not looking too great because that was my counter. So we're going to go ahead and go with the play rough. Hopefully they let this go through and they do. And we're able to get to another play rough. Let's see if they let this one go through. And they do. All right. Uh, scratching my head at this point. What do they have in the back? So uh, we're going to be safe to go ahead and go in here with Mawile. And then they're going to be bringing in their Brigadium. We're going to just counter switch right into the Altaria. And then they recognize that uh, that's game over there. All right. Moving on to the next opponent. Enjoying myself with these battles, folks. Really enjoying this. I This is by far the best feature that they've implemented personally because you know how I've been waiting for this so long. So we are met by a Wigglytuff and we're going to be switching into our Mawile. Uh, yeah, and then they bring in their Swampert. This is not a situation that I want to be in. Even if I had Iron Head, not good because, well, it's not very effective. And getting to that play rough is not happening if I want to use shields on the mall wild then sure but yeah that swamper is going to be able to get to like two and a half 
hydro cannons before I'm able to get the, to the uh, play rough or maybe even three. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our zoom roll, hoping they do not have sludge wave. They're going for a hydro cannon baited the shield. And I was like, all right, th there's no way there's, uh, yeah, it's another hydro cannon. I was like, ah, wasted the shield. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the play rough and they let it go through. They're bringing back their wiggly tough and uh, I'm in a tough situation basically. <laughs> Uh, so our Maul Wiles down, our counter, we have an Altaria in the back, and now it has to face this Charm Beast. Can we find a way to pull this up? So we're going to obviously shield up that. They have no more shield, so sweet, we're going to be able to take it out with Sky Attack here. And they bring an Altaria. It's game over. We lost that for sure. All right, moving on to the next battle. Oh, this is another situation that I don't mind, but yet again, if they have an Azumarill, then we're not looking great. Better switch it up. I'm thinking of taking off Altaria and trying something else. I don't want to go with top meta anymore. I kind of want to, uh, you know, roam around and see what else I have for options here as far as pulling wins with this Shadow Mawile as well as the Azumarill. Uh, so we have Deoxys versus the Altaria. I'm going to go ahead and shield this up. And yeah, definitely a rock slide. Wouldn't have take this out, but I want to farm it down so we have energy for whatever they do bring back into the battle here, which is going to be that Reggie Steel. So we're still going to be able to do a good amount of damage. Missing a bunch of bubbles there. And at one point, I just lifted my finger off and said, forget it. Tried doing the corner deal. Got them all. I, I just, I don't know what it is with me and the flying animation. Just horrible at it. Uh, so we're going to be bringing in the Mawile, and then they bring in a Mew. Let's uh, go. Very interesting. Uh, let's see what they have on this, because you never know. We let it go through. It's a Psy Shock. All right, so we're resisting that, but still taking a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to be letting this go through, as the Mew is fairly low, and the Mawile was low as well, so it would have just been a waste. We might as well just go in here with another Pokemon, farm it down. Yes, they're going to be bringing back in the Registeel, of course, and we're going to be shielding this up because the dragon breaths are doing a lot since they have two shields the only way i could win this at this point is just using quick moves don't hit my charge moves at all so we're gonna go for that on the alteria and then the zoom roll and we take the win if i was hitting my charge moves they would have been able to win because we would have gotten as many quick moves as we needed to now we're in the last battle folks so Toxicroak versus Azumarill, not too great for me personally, because he's going to hit us with that Sludge Bomb, which is going to do a ton of damage. They do make a switch into their Azumarill here. Now at this point, I can just continue on, right? Because why would I switch? I have a Mawile in the back as well as an Altaria. Better learn from our mistakes that we've done before here. We have the Altaria to handle the Toxicroak, so we can stay in this battle comfortably and know that we'll be able to take care of that one later. Uh, so continuing on here, able to get off those play roughs, a little bit of a lag, a little bit of lag. They hit me with the play rough. Uh, we do let that go through. They have two shields at this point. So I'm like, all right, I don't know what I should do here. Should I have entered with the uh, Mawile first? Uh, but you don't know what they have in the back. It might be a Registeel, right? Uh, of course, they're not going to bring Toxicroak. So we're going to see their final Pokemon at this point, which is a Bastodon. Now not looking great now what i can do is just i should have i should have just stayed in there with my alteria all right that's what i should have done uh if i would have done that it would have fainted me down i would have been able to farm it down to some degree possibly uh hitting it with the power of punches and then i had enough energy to possibly take out this toxic croak here but then again they still have shields bringing back the alteria and taking out the toxic croak but of course they have a bastardon with a shield so Yep, this is a, a good game. So thank you for watching, trainers, and I'll be catching you on my next video. Take care.